and even serve the senior staff association of electricity and allied companies union they don't call on the federal government so made them well the big stick for non-performing electricity generation plus distribute to companies the president for the union dr chris okonkwa when he been they put them for corruption and for underperformance for the sector and yeah say government must live up to their responsibility so that they go feel give a bonge oversight our correspondent amadine uye can get this report with the privatization of Nigeria's power sector in 2013, Nigeria's power generation has continued to hover between 3,000 and 5,000 megawatts of electricity. This has definitely been below expectations and not showing any significant improvement in the sector, many see as key to Nigeria's economic development. While several reasons have been ascribed as being responsible, for the frustrating underperformance of electricity distribution and generation nationwide, the Senior Staff Association of Nigeria and allied companies think corruption is key. Corruption in the context of the power sector comes from one discourse. They are supposed to collect money for everybody. But they will collect money, they don't need the raw money to where you want with it. And the whole sector is not dependent on what they offer, what they declare, which is very wrong. That's why revolution is not working. A chat with some Nigerians in Abuja on the current power situation reveals many remain frustrated over the lack of power for domestic and business use. They say the continued excuses by electricity companies are untenable, urging them to produce results. There seems to be a kind of, uh, uh, what I say, contradictory information as to what the Genko are generating and as to what the Disco are really getting or maybe making available by the uh, Genko to the Disco for Disco to be distributed. Because the, uh, the Disco will make it uh, look to us as if the generating sector are not really generating enough for them to be able to distribute. I wouldn't say they should be sanctioned. At least they, they could be encouraged and uh, whatever are their challenges for them not to have been able to give us steady supply, it should be looked into and uh, properly addressed. Also the president of the Senior Staff Association of Electricity and Allied Companies, Dr. Chris Okonkwo, thinks if government does not wield the big stick, there will be no changes in Nigeria's current power situation. If nobody can call everybody to order and finish the sanction if necessary, that is the right different sanction to, to the last point, so that others will learn, then nothing will change. With the recent decision by the House of Representatives to probe the power sector reforms over non-performance, Nigerians will be hoping that there will be an improvement in the sector. Amadin Uyi, Plus TV Africa. And still a top business matters. Today they wonder how insurance go day after this post-COVID-19. We get Oga Austin Osega and we be the MD CEO Anchor Insurance on top Skype to follow us Yan on top insurance when COVID-19 go finish. Last night inside Obodo Ninja. Good morning, Mr. Austin. Hello. How you not there? They were full ground this morning, and how you day? And you feel describe the insurance sector now, and with this um, battle against COVID nineteen pandemic, how it be now for your side? Yeah, yeah. Like last time, I don't see see day as day, but we know they try to push everything. The activities, you know, they come more small. Okay. Because okay. when you open a small atmosphere, good day. Mm. You know, it, it, a lot of people are trying to do some importation and all that. And the awareness, like I mentioned the other time, mm. is a bit uh, it's touching people now. And people don't they feel them. Oh, okay. You know, say so when you, you have all the, run, all the race where person will run, run for life, not be the motivate to run. Then someone they will push you to run, you will begin runner. Not and true. the condition went there for us. Okay. But the government don't talk, say, that they go mm. reception. So the government, not the quick pay, the amount of money that they are supposed to pay. Mm. They are not paying no time. And, uh, we not all that, but we'll see how it will go. But okay. by the grace of God, mm. the whole economy, at, at least the insurance exists, not the exists on your own. Mm. We're inside cloth for inside the whole economy. Absolutely. So that is what uh, we are doing now. And by the grace of God, 
every every good day on uh, point. Things to as it better for our country. We will also find out. Yeah, so, yes. So and uh, the COVID nineteen, the post COVID nineteen part of the uh, insurance. Eh, how you they see them? Say if it be going forward. Yes, I see. Uh, I see big light when it will shine at the end of the uh, of the road when it block. Mm. Because mm. don't they? But not only the economy now will come affect because the business will pick up very immediately. But in the next future, mm. not too far away, not or too far. Oh. A lot of things people don't consider, don't find out. Say, look, it's not something will be very important mm -hmm. and something many people like to do. Even as after the interview, that a lot of people call me say the government say, why do you boss now? We don't tell you say we want to do insurance. And if you look at now, we are submitting a documentation from some state government and other who are ready to to do something for their people. Because I don't find I say there's need. Government don't do everything. We need to help them. But they don't understand them before, but I don't see them. Okay. But I know say the economy will get brighter. As things they improve, the Nigeria will improve, the economy will improve. The awareness of Bonga awareness when we don't get it don't move from that spirituality now to normal awareness now. So mm. level don't they change. Yeah, so and they still get some people when no no say uh, insurance now bonga matter now uh, where they suppose they consider to do and uh, being say nobody still say this COVID nineteen go shell it, like you don't shell it. So what do you fit uh, informate people like advice going forward? How they go use the color be this matter to give them advantage for their businesses? Yes, we we now what we will try to do with that we the NIA the insurance industry themselves, even the government, need to preach a lot of things to these people because even the COVID-19 is when the people never believe say the COVID-19 day. Mm. You see the one I with the awareness we will still try to create to make sure say this some of these things when we try to do, what they do and well. But at the end of the day, a lot of people don't know. Like people will not get those business interruptions or that. Now total loss for them. Mm. If they get insurance, they will get money back. They will get a lot of things back. So a lot of things will just insurance have to put for the state when you did before the whole while I start. Mm. But now you have to start from ground zero. Which bank won't go make you go borrow money at what rate? And even the bank won't give money. Go look your say This one should say go fifty. Mm. So a lot of things about this thing. But now insurance will really put you back to that state. I will give you advice. So now some people cannot to preach like gospel when we begin to tell everybody every day. So they will. But with the post, I think what I said tell you before is it looks brighter for this country, mm. and everything will shine. We are the same. Mm. Okay. Ah, thank you so much, Augustine, for this information. Where you give us inside this morning and um, make you get a bonger better day. Thank you. God bless all of you too. Yes. Thank you.